Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, so on the weekend, I asked you guys what you wanted to see from me and a lot of you said doula stuff. So I thought I would get the ball rolling and do a video on what's in my doula bag. Um, so yeah, um, I'll jump straight in. <laughs> this is my doula bag, obviously. Um, and I got it from Kmart and I think it was about $20. Um, but yeah, it's super small and really, easy to carry um, I like the backpack just because so yeah <laughs> easy to carry um, and it's quite soft and flexible so I can fit a lot of stuff in there and jam it all around so yeah it's great um, I don't have anything in the front pocket at the moment but I usually put like my phone and keys in there and in the main pocket um, oh I should start off by saying my doula bag and everything in it um, is just for me except for my Rebozo and my TENS machine which I share with my clients obviously but yeah, I like to make sure that my doula clients prepare their own um, things, whether it be, you know, oils or candles or uh, whatever, their own comfort measures. I like to make sure that they are the ones responsible for that. Um, and so, yeah, they feel more in control of their own birth and their comfort measures and what they want. Um, so, yeah, like I said, this stuff is just for me. Um, but yeah, the first thing I pull out is my tent machine. Um, this is a new edition. I haven't used it with a client yet. Um, I bought this off Gumtree for I think 20 or $25, um, so yeah, such a bargain. Um, I used this for my last birth um, and it was amazing. So yeah, I'm glad that I have this now that I can share with my doula clients. I also bought some um, replacement pads in there. Uh, they were like $10 off eBay, so yeah, they're cheapies, but they're, they work well. So I've got that, that's my first thing. The next thing I pull out, I've got a little toiletries bag in here I've got um, you know paw paw I've got a hairbrush some uh, painkillers sanitary items moisturizer um, did I say hairbrush <laughs> uh, hair ties and um, yeah toothpaste um, and in here I've also got a toothbrush um, there's nothing worse than you know going to a birth and you've got stinky breath so I like to make sure that my um, <laughs> I've got clean teeth in case I'm up close and personal with my doula clients in their space so yeah that's important that's again just for me um, I've also got a journal um, usually after I meet with a client I'll go like after I've had coffee with them or something I'll go back to my car and I'll jot a few things down um, about our meeting you know and about my client you know what they hope for their birth and all that um, and so yeah I've got that with me and I also, after a birth, uh, like I said, I like to jump in my car and I jot a few things down about the birth as well. So that's a quick way for me to debrief immediately after a birth. Um, and then I usually come back to it maybe a day or a week afterwards and you know, do some more debriefing. So yeah, I like to have pen and paper on me. Um, I've also got a massage roller. This is again from Kmart. I think it was about five bucks. Um, great for massaging and yeah, just general comfort because your hands can get a bit sore. Um, and before I found this, I was using a tennis ball. Um, so yeah, this is amazing because it's literally just doing this, that motion, so very handy. Um, I've also got a bag of oils, essential oils in here. Again, I only use these for myself. Um, I haven't needed to use them at a birth yet. I've been you know, very lucky to have um, not had very long or stressful births so far, touch wood. Um, but yeah, I've got these just in case. Um, I usually have a rescue remedy in here as well, but um, I can't find it for some reason. Um, but yeah, I've got a massage oil, which I like to use with that roller or just my hands. Um, so I've got that one. I've got usual stuff, Frankie. Um, and then I've also got some tension sniffers. Um, but yeah, again, just for me. So that's my oils. I've got a Rebozo. Very handy, um, you know, for sifting or um, moving your pelvis. Yeah, all sorts of different things you can use your rebrazo for, so I think that's a must in a doula bag. Um, I've got a spare change of clothes. So my uniform, my doula uniform, um, I usually wear black leggings and a black shirt. Um, yeah, something really comfortable and easy to move in. And um, I like to have, I'm wearing them right now, my leggings with pockets, um, just so I can slip my phone in there in case, you know, I need to check my kids or I want to take photos with my phone, anything like that. So, I've, yeah, these are my favourite leggings. Um, and then, yeah, I keep a spare in my doula bag um, in case 
uh, you know, I need to change. Um, if I'm in the shower and I get too wet or, um, you know, I've been at a birth for too long. I haven't needed to change my clothes at a birth yet, um, but yeah, they're in there just in case. Uh, I've got a portable charger in here as well in a little pocket. Um, again, just the cheapest one at Kmart in case I need to charge my phone and in case, you know, my kids need me or whatever. So I've got that. And then the last, I've got snacks, a whole bunch of protein bars and chocolate and Mentos, again, sticky breath. So I probably should update, update these. These are a bit old. Um, but these are in case I need to refuel if I need to have a snack. I've also got enough to hand one to um, the baby's dad or whatever, any other birth partners in the space um, because you don't want to be eating and then, you know, everybody else is looking at you like, what are you doing? So, yeah, um, I've got those and I think that's it. That's my dual bag empty. So, yeah, that's all I've got in my bag. Again, just for me, I don't like to take too much stuff um, and I haven't needed to use a lot of this stuff yet as well. So, yeah, my main ones I use is my Rebozo massager and um, that's it. Yeah, so... If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them down below. Let me know what you've got in your dollar bag or if you think that I need to put anything else in there. Um, so yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.